Welcome, bookworms and knowledge seekers, to learn English with podcast conversations. Today, we're venturing into a magical place, the library. Ava, are you ready to explore the wonders within? Absolutely, Emma. Libraries are like treasure troves filled with books, resources, and endless possibilities for learning and enjoyment. Whether you're a seasoned reader or just starting out, the library has something for everyone. Exactly. So let's let a newcomer to the library. What can you expect? First things first, you'll need a library card. Don't worry. Getting one is usually free and quite simple. Just ask a librarian for assistance. They're friendly and happy to help. With your library card in hand, you're ready to dive into the vast collection of books. Most libraries organize their books by genre, making it easier to find what you're interested in. Fiction, nonfiction, mysteries, romances, biographies, the list goes on. If you're feeling overwhelmed, don't hesitate to ask a librarian for recommendations. They're experts at matching readers with the perfect book. Here are some helpful phrases you can use. Excuse me, I am looking for books about history. I'm particularly interested in World War II. Can you recommend a good book for someone who enjoys fantasy novels? I loved the Harry Potter series. Where can I find biographies of historical figures, like Marie Curie? But libraries offer more than just books. Many libraries have a selection of audiobooks, perfect for listening on the go or for those who prefer audio storytelling. They might also have movies, documentaries, and even music CDs that you can borrow. And don't forget about the digital resources. Many libraries offer access to online databases, ebooks, and audiobooks. This is a fantastic option if you prefer reading on a tablet or e reader. Libraries are also wonderful community hubs. They often host book clubs, author talks, workshops, and even story time for children. These events are a great way to connect with other book lovers and engage with literature in a fun and interactive way. Now, let's say you found a book that piques your interest. The borrowing process is usually quite simple. Just take the book to the checkout counter, where a librarian will scan it and issue it to your library card. Be sure to remember the due date so you can return the book on time. Here are some key phrases for borrowing and returning books. Can I please borrow this book? When is this book due? I'd like to return these books. Libraries are more than just places to borrow books. They're spaces for learning and discussion. So after you've finished reading a book, why not discuss it with someone? Talk to a friend, join a book club, or even write a review online. Sharing your thoughts and engaging with literature can deepen your understanding and appreciation for the story. Here are some questions you can use to discuss a book. What did you think of the ending? What was your favorite character? What did you learn from the story? Would you recommend this book to others? By visiting the library, borrowing books, and engaging with literature, you're opening yourself up to a world of knowledge, imagination, and enjoyment. So grab your library card and get ready to explore. Absolutely. Libraries are a valuable resource for everyone, regardless of age or background. Don't be afraid to step through the doors and discover the magic that awaits. Thanks for joining us today on Learn English with Podcast Conversations, we hope this episode inspired you to visit your local library and explore its many treasures. Don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us about your favorite library experiences or the book that recently captured your imagination. Happy reading and keep learning!